On Tuesday, we found out that big banks' profits plunged as they set aside billions to get ready for a flood of customers to default on their loans throughout the COVID-19 pandemic. Meanwhile, the IMF said we're likely headed towards a massive global recession, unlike anything aside from the Great Depression. Welcome to the Tickmill Update. I'm Kiana Daniel, the founder of the Invest Diva movement. Make sure to subscribe to the Tickmill YouTube channel and support us by liking and sharing this video with your forex trading friends. On Wednesday, we'll be looking at the U.S. retail sales, Canada's rate decision, and Australia's jobs report. Today, I'm looking at the Aussie yen pair, which has been unable to break through the daily Ichimoku cloud, and the 61% of Fibonacci retracement level of 69 has been getting tested for four consecutive days. Meanwhile, Ichimoku's Tenkan line has crossed below the Kijon line, sending another bearish signal. With this, depending on Australia's jobs report outcome, we could see the bears gaining power and pushing the pair towards the 50% of Fibonacci retracement level of 67. Do you think the bears will win this battle this week? Head over to the comment section and let me know. Of course, trading in the financial markets involves a risk of loss, and you should only trade the money that you can afford to lose. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the Tickmill YouTube channel, and I'll get back to you with more updates tomorrow.